and welcome back. Thank you for watching. So I would like to do a follow-up video on my previous video. So if you haven't watched that one, it's all about foundation and what you need to think of before you make that all important purchase. So today I want to be demonstrating the different types of foundation and that is your full coverage and your sheer coverage. And on the one side of my face, I will be putting on the full coverage and on the other side will be sheer coverage. And I want to show you how important it is to get your mind around the concept of less is more with foundation. And on the other side where I want to incorporate some extra products that I think is greatly overlooked in our everyday routine. So without further ado, let's start. And on the full coverage side, I will be using the MAC Studio Sculpt. It is a fantastic foundation, full coverage. It's great for photos. I just don't particularly like to wear it every single day. It is quite heavy. And I'm gonna pair it off with the Lancome. This is my favorite. It's quite thin and it goes on very smoothly. So um, I made sure that my face is washed and that I have um, my daily cream on. That is very important to make sure that your skin is nourished before you do anything. And then I'm going to use the um, Smashbox Primer and you need a very little bit. And you just, I use my fingers and I just dab it in on my T-zone. I don't put it over my whole face, especially in the creases of my nose, just to smooth that out. Okay, and let's start. I'm gonna use a beauty blender or a beauty sponge. And let's start with the full coverage. The thing is with full coverage is because you tend to put it on so thick, it doesn't last as long because your face is moving throughout the day. And so it will create a crease in that thick layer. And it will retain your skin temperature. So it won't, it won't completely set. And you'll have to powder it a lot more for it to set. And that will obviously make your skin look very thick and unnatural. So that is full coverage over there. And already I can feel my body temperature <laughs> rise from this layer. Next would be the Lancome, I'm just using the other side of my sponge. And this one sets very fast, so you have to really blend it in quickly. And it is much more of a liquid formula. And this is literally just gonna be your second skin. And that's what you want out of your foundation. You just want it to even out your skin tone. And I would also recommend a sponge because it is just so versatile. You can wash it so easily, especially if you have acne skin, you have to wash your brushes super regularly. And a sponge is just so much easier to wash. You just take it to the shower with you and half of my face is sweating quite a bit because of the thick layer okay so now that that's blended in I don't know if you can see the difference yet 
Okay, so then we want to follow this up with concealer and I like the MAC concealer and I did not take it in a lighter shade. I generally don't like the look of that. It looks very unnatural, especially if this is everyday makeup. So I matched it to my skin tone and I'm just using the advantages of the thicker consistency where I need it and I'm just putting it under my eyes where I need a little bit of coverage. And then also if you have a few spots, I would dab it just on there where I need it and not overuse this. And this will make sure that you look more flawless and very natural. So I use a softer brush, blending brush, just to softly dab this in. Not really moving it around, I'm just buffing it in. And then you can just add more if you see that it didn't cover it properly. Okay, so that is your foundation. And I like to leave it a few minutes just to make sure that it seeps into my pores and it, it settles before I put any powder on. And the general rule that I would like to, that I take to my makeup routine is, the amount of powder I use is equal to the amount of foundation I use. So if I use a lot of foundation on the one side, I have to use a lot of powder so that it solidifies in a way so that it will last a little bit longer. So if you use less foundation, you need a lot less powder. So I'm gonna use my Studio Fix from MAC um, in the same skin tone of the foundation. This is in W20 and I'm going to use a nice big flushy, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dab it in and on this side I'm gonna use a lot more powder because it is such a thick foundation and on camera it's gonna look absolutely flawless and that is the thing with most of these Instagram influencers is they look absolutely flawless because of all these layers but in the natural light and to the natural eye, it does look very extreme. So there is a good amount of layer on there. And I'm going to just, on the other side, I have to dip it in a lot less because it mattifies almost instantly. And then with a more sturdy brush, I just target my T-zone with a little bit extra powder, just because that is where I generally become more oily. And under my eyes. Just kind of the excess. Okay, and that's kind of where most people stop. They will then do their eye and their lip and they'll be out of the door. But because we have evened out our skin tone, there's no life in it anymore. The color has been eliminated. And the whole idea of a youthful skin is to have a lot of color and a lot of contrast. And to do that, we need to add highlighter, blusher, and bronzer. And there is a very simple way to do it. And it takes literally a few seconds. So on the one side, I'm going to start with my bronzer and I'm using the bronzing powder from MAC. And this is the matte bronze. I'm going to use a little bit of a smaller to start off with and you only need a really tiny bit and I'm just going to accentuate my jawbone and make like a little bit of a V over there 
and that's where I want to put most of the contrast. And then you can just put it under your neck area. And you really have to blend this in because you want it to look very natural. And then I do my forehead. And I'm just gonna do the one side because I wanna show you what a huge difference this makes. And make sure you do your ears and you go down on your neck. I like to make sure I do this so my wrinkles don't get in the way. And you just make sure you blend it in. Then I take um, my huge fluffy brush and I just kind of just lightly dab it into the palette and I just take it over my whole face just to make sure that I'm not so pale and I look like I have a healthy glow to it. And this you literally it's take barely from the pot. And you just really blend it in and make sure that there's no harsh lines. And already that is going to give you a little bit of a slimmer look and then you're just gonna look a lot healthier next will be the blush I love blush I'm a huge fan of blush and once you find the right blush color for your skin tone you can get away with wearing a lot of blush so I just put it on starting on the apples on my cheek and I bring it up connect it to the bronzer I don't want there to be blush and bronzer and a gap in between so just make sure you work it in and, fluff. and then I take a fluffy brush again and I just marry the two together and then you can fill in a little bit more just go in it's all about layering the next step will be using your um, highlighter it doesn't have to be a very striking highlighter it can be something a little bit more natural especially if I am wearing it throughout the day I don't want anything to be too unnatural so I have this Bobbi Brown brightening brick it has a little bit of a color in it and that's gonna make sure that it's not too bright and you just put it on up there and on the tip of your nose and again I go in and I blend everything together and then after that last step before I put my fixing spray on is I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to dip into my Studio Fix powder and I'm just going to go where I need it. I'm not going to repowder my face. I'm just going to look where I need more coverage. For my pimples, all my blemishes and that's really going to help me set everything and there we go and then we're gonna end this off with a um, fixing spray any fixing spray really doesn't have to be a very expensive one I have this Urban Decay one which is quite nice and not that expensive and you want to do an even layer and then you fan it dry immediately so that it doesn't drip And while that is 
drying, I will then add some lips and I thought that this color would really work really nicely with the eyes. And there is the finished look. Um, this side is definitely more, I can see my pores a lot more. And it is already starting to crease. So there you have it. It is really such a quick way to make sure that you always look youthful. It is something that I strongly suggest each of you in best in getting these products get a good bronzer a good blush and a good highlighter it will last very long and making sure that you use it every day because the difference is huge thank you so much for watching and please remember to subscribe and i hope to see you soon